week, my family and I were looking at Psalms 103. And Psalms 103 is ultimately a psalm of praise. And I just want to take this moment to go through that psalm. Mm. Um, psalms 103, if we look at it, it's enveloped in praise. The psalmist starts with praise and then he goes into who God is, what are the benefits of knowing Him, and then he ends again with praise. So how does the psalm start? Right? The psalm starts with the psalmist saying, Praise the Lord, O my soul, all my inmost being. Praise the Lord and forget not all His benefits. That's the beginning, the first, the first um, book end of praise. And then it goes into who God is and you know, why, why do we praise Him? It's because of who He is and all the benefits of calling Him our Lord. So some of the things that the psalmist outlines are that God is a father who has compassion on his children. Um, he is supreme and he is sovereign. His throne is established in heaven and his kingdom, it rules over all. Uh, in the be and in the beginning, he also talks about some of the benefits of knowing God, which he continues to expand throughout the psalm. So some of those benefits are that our God is a God who forgives our sins. He is a God who heals our diseases. He, he, he lifts us up from the pit. He crowns us with love and compassion. And He satisfies the desires of our hearts so that our youth would be renewed like eagles. You know, all these things are things that make our God such an awesome God. And knowing who God is, knowing how awesome He is, knowing the works that He has done, the works that He will do, um, in the end, the psalm ends again with praise. But this time, the psalmist calls upon all those who know Him, all those who fear Him, all those who do His will, to praise our God together, to praise Him for His awesomeness. And so for us, for me, um, knowing who God is, I can praise Him, I will praise Him because He is such an awesome God who is deserving of all this praise. Knowing that God is a just God who supports justice, this gives me a lot of peace and clarity because as we face a lot of adversity in this time, um, knowing that our God is there to support the oppressed allows me to approach my worship with a lot of peace and hope and I think that's really important because without hope it's very difficult to move forward and knowing that my source of hope is from God it allows me to come to worship completely because I know that will be my only source um, at this time. Also I think for me uh, when you say knowing God uh, gives you that confidence because you, you kind of feel that you know um, where to put your hope and your confidence in and you will know for sure that it will work. Uh, we, we don't have to like wonder, you know, is it going to be A or is it going to be B? We know that with God it is always C, for example. It never changes. So I think that confidence comes only because we know God. Right? And like what you said, I, it's, um, in this time we see that there's so much difficulty that's going on uh, around the world. So many people are in tight situations. Uh, but we know that God will pull us through all this because, um, you know, it says here, He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. So He he goes beyond. God goes beyond what we deserve. And, and also, the beyond is positive. And also in verse 70 it says, But from everlasting to everlasting, mm -hmm. the Lord's love is with those who fear Him, and His righteousness with their children's children, mm -hmm. with those who keep His covenant and remember to obey His precepts. Yeah, that's right. So for us, because we feel that we, not we feel, we know that we are people who obey God, we can, we know that he will keep his covenant with us. Right? What do you think? 
Seek him, cling to his truth, and through that, let your mourning turn to dancing. This is what I'm reminded of from this psalm. I want to completely praise God for who he is. As Vigi and my daughters were discussing about this psalm, they spoke about how worship is to be offered as completely as possible with all our inmost being. King David looked at his life, understood that it wasn't enough, and called his soul to do more. He set his heart at tune and his instrument at tune. We just want to encourage you to let God search your soul and stir you to completely praise Him. Amen! Amen.